coming. All right, that is some important global market opinion that we are tracking. But let's now talk about all of the cues as they, you know, appear when we get into a fresh trading session. We have our research team here with the trade setup, Mangalam, Ekta, as well as Vahishta. All join me to take you through the trade setup and prep you up for this trading session. Guys, a very good morning to all of you. Ekta, let me come to you first. Definitely looks like the start will be in the red, but take us through everything we should track. Morning, Pavitra. Well, yes, uh, it seems as though that Santa Claus rally, which we had hoped for, is probably not going to come through at this point in time. So the markets did close in the red for the second straight day yesterday. It was close to those one-month lows that we've been talking about. FII's net bought around 928 crores. DII's net bought around 2,206 uh, 2, crores. It's important to note that in, uh, amidst all of this negativity, at least we have seen institutions, in fact, put their foot forward, especially the DII's, which have bought over 6,600 odd crores or thereabout since last Friday's trading session up to now, it's been consecutive buy figures. So that's important to take note of. But largely, uh, it seems as though there is some amount of caution with regards to COVID-19, which is fa uh, uh, which is weighing at this point in time. The Prime Minister has cautioned against complacency. Health Ministry has given some directions to the Civil Aviation Ministry as well. So it seems as though, though India is in a better place, and that's what experts pointed out to us yesterday and have been throughout, that we do have factors such as hybrid immunity, etc. It does seem to possibly be weighing in terms of sentiment at this point in time. The US also ended lower. It's on track for losses for the third consecutive week. The US GDP growth came in at around 3.2% versus estimates of 2.9%. Initial jobless claims is something that the markets reacted to as well. Asia is largely in the red. Japan's core inflation is the highest that we've seen in four decades. So that continues to be a concern. SGX lower. All right, SGX lower, so a start in the red, and let's see how we move from there. Ekta, thanks a lot for that. Let's now also talk about the individual stocks that could be in focus in today's trading session. Vaishta has that entire list. Vaishta. Hi, Pavitra. Good morning. Let me start off with the big one, Adani Ports today. Uh, its subsidiary, Adani Logistics Limited, has entered into a 50-50 joint venture agreement with the DA Group. This is for exploring opportunities in the warehousing business. Next, there's some big news coming in for the defense stocks. Uh, the Defence Acquisition Council has approved the acceptance of necessity for 24 capital acquisition proposals worth approximately 84,000 crores. And this is for the armed forces as well as for the Indian Coast Guard. 21 of them, which is worth approximately 82,000 crores, have been approved for the procurement from indigenous sources. So stocks such as HAL, BDL, BEL will be uh, in focus today. Biocon has been issued a good manufacturing Practice Certificate of Compliance. This is by the European Directorate for Quality of Medicines and Healthcare. And this is for the API Manufacturing Facility, which is based in Bangalore of theirs. The inspection of the site was conducted between September 12th all the way to 14, uh, 14th of this year. Lupin has recalled four lots of the Quinapril tabs, which is a drug used to treat hypertension. So some negative news over there. Granules India, the board has approved appointment of a CFO. The other news is that the board has approved to incorporate an arm for setting up a greenfield facility for manufacturing of green chemicals. RVNL has received a letter of acceptance worth 198 crores for the construction of Basin Depot Cum Workshop by the GMRC. Railtel has bagged an order worth 99 crores from Webel Technology. And the last stock that I'll be talking about is Raj Ratan Global Wires, which has received an approval under the PLI scheme from the Government of India. All right, Vahishta, thanks a lot for getting us all of those stocks that we should keep on our radar. By the way, there are also two new listings, so do watch out for those. Mangalam is also joining us now to run us through all of the cues from the futures and options space. Hi, Mangalam. Good morning. So everyone who was hoping for a Santa Claus rally perhaps is now looking at maybe Grinch right now, primarily because of the weakness that we're seeing in the global markets. The SGX Nifty indicating a cut of almost 80 odd points. Importantly, yesterday as well, you know, the Nifty for the first time in many days actually closed below the 50-day moving average of 18.161. The Nifty Bank, which is already below the 20-day moving average, is now looking at the 50-day moving average, which is about 300 points lower from where it is right now. Chances are that, you know, it would open right there. So to that extent, it'll be important to see where we go. The only positive in yesterday's trading session was the cash market flows. Nimesh said to us in the dealing room that there could be some basket buying. Well, uh, the FI has bought about 900 crores. Uh, the domestic institutional investors bought about 2,200 crores as well. But while that was happening, the Nifty uh, uh, futures premium actually collapsed from what 77 points to 43 points and that's telling you that there was some selling in index futures 
How much was that? 650 crores worth selling by the FIIs. They unwound almost 1250 long contracts, added short contracts to the tune of 5,000. And that means that, you know, at the start of this week, the FII long exposure was 59% dropped to 49, 48 and now it stands at 46%. So 54% of FII positioning is on the short side. This at a time when we have the December series expiry next week itself and there would be a little more volatility this time around probably because it's also calendar year end expiry. So there would be a lot of these long dated options etc that would be settled too. What are the options that we're looking at? 18,200 call. Uh, so a fair amount of uh, open interest addition yesterday for a premium of 115 odd rupees. So levels upwards of 18,300 would face resistance at the lower level. The psychologically important 18,000 mark is important because uh, we are seeing some put writing there for a premium of 70 odd rupees. So 17,950 to 18,000 is something I'll be watching out for. All right, those are all of the cues as we get into this trading session. Mangalam, Bahishta, Ekta, thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through all of that. But with that, it's time for our first break on the show. On the other side, like we told you, the Prime Minister has called for higher testing as he reviews the COVID situation across the country. We'll bring you more on that after this short break. Pooja, you left the job.